Jesus Christ. Let me share with you a little reflection about the text and the technical text that we have just heard together on this 28th Sunday of the ordinary time ESC. I want to name my reflection as this or uh, give a title. Your nothingness, and you shall be grateful to God always and all the time. I want to share with you a little story that will help us enter into the way of God on this Sunday. Back in those in Lumi, where I come from, in Saint Dominic. Sadio Parish, where I was an associate priest. And a priest who had the students in the elementary school on the parish. One day, a benefactor came to me and disclosed to me his desire to donate something to those who are brilliant students in the school. So we agree that he will give the books to 10 students, the first 10 in the class. In fact, this benefactor is the one who decided to donate the books to the first 10 students in the class. At the end of the distribution, one of the student who won the award was not happy at all. In fact, he was furious while the others were jubilating. So a teacher approached him and asked him what was going on. With an unpredictable disdain, he replied, what is that? Are these things the books? How am I going to show this to my parents? The teacher who knew well a student's parents shook his head and muttered, How hard it is for the rich to be grateful. In fact, the father of the child is a wealthy trader of the area, rich he was, but arrogant he was even more. How could his child acknowledge the effort of a benefactor who just gave him the books? My dear people of God, The gracious initiative of the benefactor revealed the free and gracious heart of our Lord. He freely gave up his goodness. He freely bestowed on us human beings so countless blessings daily. Yes, it was the benefactor himself who decided to make donations. He didn't have to. The initiative came from his, his heart. God, who is the source of all good, indeed gives freely to whom he wills, as he wills, and when he wills. He owes nothing. We deserve nothing. From him. He is the master of all because he alone is God. 
see the priest. My dear people of God, let us show compassion, justice, generosity towards one another in our lives. And then our Lord, who is faithful, will never abandon us. The third door, the thanksgiving of the poor of heart, of the ingratitude of the self-sufficient. It is a question. Do you want to be like those who are poor of heart, capable of thanksgiving, of or that child, that student, who was engaged towards the benefactor because his parents can afford better notebooks for him. Because his father was or is a wealthy trader, the child could not show gratitude to someone who was just good to him in his own way. On the contrary, his men were jubilated because they were appreciated for what was given to them as it is. In the Gospel reading, the Samaritan, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. Luke chapter 17, verse 15 and 16. Yes, materially worthy do. Never in the first reading. Return to Prophet Elijah to show appreciation. And if it is that day, he will no longer offer holocaust or sacrifice to any other God except the God or the Lord of Israel. He took the son of the earth to go back to see him. To see why you compare a man and the Samaritan, you can see something similar. A man is a foreigner. Samaritan is a foreigner. When I went to Israel in, October, in August of this year, we were passing through Galilee and Samaria at Jesus Christ to go to Jerusalem. And we stopped at Samaria. We went to the well where our Lord Jesus Christ met the Samaritan woman and chatted with him with her. And I noticed that the Samaritans are poor of heart. That is why Jesus used to use them as an example to speak to the Israelites. Because near to the world or to the way was a priest, an elder priest with white beard, long axis. And me, a little priest, I came to him. And I was asking him this number after he blessed me. And he told me, Oh, my son, I have no phone. I was a priest. A priest. He was there, or he is there, for so long years. But he has no hope because he dedicated himself only to worship, adore, and praise the Lord all the time. He is Christian. He is a Samaritan. But when we enter Jerusalem, you can see the Jews with their Eva on the head walking proudly on the streets because God is their God. My dear people of God, if we are not full of heart, we cannot thank the man who gave us only one seat. You say, I don't need your one city. But without that one city, you cannot buy something. And then we can't you need that one city. So be grateful to that people. The person in your heart who can sweep your heart, clean your bowl, be grateful to him. Say thanks to him every day. And by doing so, you will open the flag 
gift of God blessing upon yourself. Thanksgiving and adoration are attitude of he who acknowledges his or her nothingness before his or her maker. Only he who knows himself ontologically and existentially dependent on God can be grateful before him and adore him in truth. Just reflect today in your heart and with your body. Kneel before God for his countless blessings and mercies upon you. And this gratitude shall open salvation for you. Amen. <laughs>